and how would you describe the emotions, what's going through your head during pregame warm-ups when you take that first lap? Um, I mean, just, I think, don't fall, so. Um, but, no, it was, it was, it was pretty cool, um, cool moment, so um, it was fun. It's like a lot of big games. Were you nervous at first shift, or were you pretty calm, as I said, because you've been in big games before? Yeah, I think I was, I was pretty calm, but obviously there's going to be some nerves, so um, there, there's definitely some, but not, not too bad. Is this like turning one year older, and hockey is hockey, and it feels the same, or did tonight feel different to you? Uh, I, think, I think it feels a little different. Um, I mean, the something you dream of as a kid all growing up, so um, it, it definitely was a little different. First shift, the faceoff comes back to you. You make a routine play. It ends with a power play. Matthew slips it off into the crowd. It just was there a, an element of you that was able to relax a little? That first shift was in the book. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think once you get the first one out of the way, you kind of get into a rhythm. So um, I, I think it was kind of calm my nerves down, and um, a nice short one like that is is pretty easy. It was an early play when uh, Giordano was bearing down on you in two on one with Matthews and you broke it up. Can you kind of take us through that play? And did, did you realize you had you know the greatest goal scorer in the world and a Norris Trophy winner coming at you? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I knew Matthews was on the other side of him, so I was I think more worried just not letting him get the puck. So um, that's kind of what was going through my head. You only have one practice with these guys, and they're based, mostly guys you don't know. Is that difficult to go play a hockey game, especially in the NHL, with guys you don't know? How, how did you mesh with them, not knowing them? Um, I mean, I think for me it was, it was no problem, really. Um, I mean, I've watched all those guys play before, so um, I feel like I know a pretty good sense of, of their tendencies. So, um, But at the end of the day, it's just playing hockey, so I didn't think it was too bad. You were previously asked what it was going to be like to face Matthews. You faced him a lot. What was it like? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool. Um, someone I've watched since he's since he's been in the league and um, been been one of my favorite players to watch as a fan. So um, he, he was definitely impressive and just a lot of fun to be out be out there with him. Far from. Did, did you get the puck? Uh, did you get the puck when on the penalty kill when it came up and that, that rebound? Were you able to make contact? It looked like you did. Yeah, I got a little piece of it. Far from your first time playing NHL level talent, but now that you have 60 under your belt, what's the immediate selfie, Val? How do you feel you did? Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a good a good start. I think um, I got a lot of a lot of room to, to expand my game. So um, for me, it was I think a good start to kind of get my toes wet. But um, I think I definitely could be a lot better. You looked like you really wanted to jump up a few times, and then it looked like maybe you found better of it. Or was that the case where you, you really want to jump up this? No, no, no I'm going to get back. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I'm someone who, who likes to go as much as I can, but um, obviously you got to manage it. And um, if the puck's probably not going to come to you, you kind of got to manage that and just sit back sometimes and um, just wait for the next one. How did you think that the club managed the lead? I mean, there wasn't a lot of panic even when the Leafs got that second goal. I mean, what did you think just the way the team was composed? Uh, yeah, I thought we, we did a good job, so. Um, I, I thought we did a good job staying composed, like you said, and um, just kind of stay calm under pressure and, and make plays to, to get us out. Did you see any friends and family in the stands? Uh, no, actually I didn't. I think in warm-up I saw a couple, but um, hopefully I'll be able to go see them right now. Clearly this moment was not too big for you, and you played a really poised game. Like, uh, were you, you know, were you nervous at all, or did you approach it as just another game? Because it, it looked like you were handling it pretty well. Yeah, I think, like I said, the nurse, um, the first shift were there a little bit, but once you get into the flow of it and um, start kind of playing a regular shift, it, it's just hockey, so um, they went away pretty quick. Any of the guys have words of encouragement for you pregame? Yeah, I think all of them were just go out there, have fun, play your game. So um, it seemed like everyone was saying that. I think that helped. Did you think it was just going to be hockey? Um, no, I, I mean, I knew it was obviously going to be a step, but um, I think at the end of the day, it's just hockey, but against better players. What was it like to win? Uh, it, it was nice, so um, especially if you get the first one out of the way, um, with a win, it, it's nice and a lot of fun. What's it, what's it like to have somebody like Ross or Stalin on your team who went through being the number one pick, plays the same position as you do? And it's still relatively young enough to ask the questions about that, not only on the ice, but what it entails off the ice as well. Yeah, I think he's someone that I'll probably um, lean on a lot. Like you said, he's 
he's been through um, this situation and um, I think he's someone that I could go to and just if we got any questions, like you said, on the ice or off the ice, I think he's someone that um, I'll be able to lean on. Has Canada asked you about the World Championship yet? Do you intend on playing for Canada this year in the World Championship? Uh, I've, I haven't heard anything of it yet, so. Is there any one moment today where you're like, man, you're in it, I mean, you're that should be moment Yeah, I think that first shift, um, especially playing against the Matthews line, I think that was um, kind of the biggest one. Thanks, Austin. Thank you. Thank you.